before we get into the meat of this video, I just want to remind everyone that we do have Discord and Gilded channels. Links are down below if you want to interact with myself, hang out, do things. That is where you want to be. Links are down below. So let's get into it. Um, a little while back, a few weeks, months, no idea. Um, I made a video talking about falling out of love with comics and, you know, basically, um, you know, go and watch that video, but because I know you're not going to, um, lack of variety, terrible stories, terrible art, like the whole, the whole industry is sort of, you know, plateauing and the quality is not there anymore. Now for my seasoned comic book readers and enthusiasts, the name Michael Turner may ring a bell. Uh, Michael Turner was um, a phenomenal comic book artist known for his work, mostly on Witchblade would probably be the thing he's most famous for. Um, he worked with Marvel, Image, DC, um, you name it. Um, he, he, he was there in, in some shape or form. Um, and he was also um, the founder of Aspen Comics, um, who are mostly famous or Fathom and Soulfire, I would say. At least that's my personal experience. That's what I think of when I hear of Aspen Comics. Um, but anyway, um, unfortunately, in 2008, Michael Turner passed away. He had bone cancer. Um, and, you know, that's, that's it is what it is, unfortunately. But um, his legacy lives on, and the co-founders of Aspen Comics have continued to make comics uh, inspired by his works, most notably would be Fathom, which I'm a fan of. It's about superpowered merfolk, so how could you not love that? Um, and as I mentioned before, the sci-fi fantasy series Soulfire, um, there's art on the screen, so if that interests you, definitely check those out. They're fantastic. We're talking comics with that gritty 90s appeal, uh, with attractive characters, both male and female, well-written stories phenomenal art that you just don't see in comics anymore. Um, so Aspen Comics have been doing great work over there, and I really, really respect what they've done, which is why I got a little giddy. Um, they've got my attention. Um, turns out Aspen Comics have teamed up with um, quite a few big names. We're talking Jeff Johns um, and David Mizell. Now, Jeff Johns, you guys should know from his work with DC, a phenomenal comics guy. Um, Google him. Google him. I, I, I'm not going to go through his biography. It's too big. Um, but phenomenal comics guy. David Mizell, you guys might not know his name, but this is the guy responsible for starting the original Marvel Cinematic Universe. Not what it is today, what it was. He's he's that guy. He he He's responsible for that. So, you know, big names um, are involved in this new new project. And um, this new project is called Ecos, um, which I'm guessing is a plan like ecological, etc., um, which you'll see some art on the screen. Now, um, Ecos is their new comic. Um, let me list off some names of people involved in this. So you've got Peter Steigerwald, you've got Alex Kanat, JT Kroll, Mark Roslin, Josh Reed, Alex Roche, Joe Casada, J. Scott Campbell. Francis Manipal, David Mack, Joe Benitez, Sia Um, Jerome Opeña, uh, Carrie Randolph, and Kendrick Lim. Google those names, everyone. That's, we're talking, um, you know, this is a an orgy of comic book royalty here, um, all coming together to work on this comic. Um, and if that doesn't have your attention, then I, I can't help you any further. Um, Ecos is a brand new connected universe of heroes. Um, our lead hero is some sort of crazy cat person. Um, looks really cool. It's got that 90s edge to it. Um, and um, this team, obviously, it'll be under Aspen Comics and is based on, you know, ideas and works produced by the late and great Michael Turner. Um, so I, I, I'm just, I'm excited about this. Um the team have a Kickstarter um, that's starting in six days. So there's a pre-launch. I'll have the link down below for that. And um, 
with that being said, I don't really have anything more to say. There's not a lot to go on about this comic. Um, the art looks great. It's got an amazing team behind it. Hopefully the story isn't full of modern sensibility. And um, if, um, you know, if this is a sign of things to come, consider me happy. I really uh, am excited to see where this goes. And I will leave you with um, the kickstarter video or at least part of it because i don't want to get in trouble with the youtube overlords uh but yeah ecos great looking new comic coming out soon i'm yeah very very excited about this and um i think a lot of you guys probably are as well and if you haven't read them before in the past go check out fathom or Soulfire or any of the other aspen comics comics um they're all pretty good some better than others of course but um yeah definitely worth taking a look Changing for the better this time.